So, we got some uh, movie news, some two major move things of movie news that I decided, you know what, let's just combine the two together and talk about it. So, yes, we got some announcements for two movies that one made me go, I saw that coming, and the other one made me go, okay, but why though? And yes, Scream 6 and a Madam Web movie have been announced. What? Not for Scream 6, I'm excited for that, and I'm not even a Scream fan. But, like, Madam Web. Okay, let's actually talk about Madam Web, because I got more to say about that. So, Madam Web has been announced, and we already have a director and uh, a casting for Madam Web, which makes no sense to me. That is uh, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson is actually a really good actress. And honestly, I could see her as Jessica Drew. But, Madam, Madam Web. Okay, yes, I'm aware that the second Spider Woman. Uh, Julie became Madam Web after the last one was killed by uh, I think more I think it was Moreland or one of the uh, I think it was Moreland who killed the original Madam Web. But yeah, so she is Madam Web is base is an old woman who can basically get keep in touch with the Spider Man throughout the multiverse. She's kind of like Spider Man's Xavier in a way. Um, we all know her best from the '90s cartoon. But here's the thing, is like, Madam Web is an, is an elderly blind woman who just sits in a chair. It would be cool to see her, like, don't get me wrong, it'd be, it's cool to see, it'd be cool to see her in a movie, but Madam Web as a solo movie, of all things, Silk, Spider-Woman Jessica Drew, I know she's trans, but they technically, Sony technically owns the right to Jessica Drew, apparently, I don't know, it's weird, um, you know, like I said, uh, Arena. You could do Arena. You could do like there's so many characters, and have Madam Web be like the Nick Fury of the Sony universe. That's what you should have done. Who like here's what I think is gonna happen, because here's what's here's what I think is gonna happen. I think you can all agree with me on this: is that they're just going to mash Madam Web and Ju and um, Jessica Drew together. Like they're just gonna make. They're just going to merge the two into one character and completely change the origin. Who do you even have as the villain, really? Like, who who do you really have as the villain for the story? Like, who, who do you have? Morlin makes the most sense because it's multiverse stuff. But, like, yeah. Also, is this going to be an origin story of how she became Madam Web? I don't know. Madam Web has, doesn't really have a lot of powers other than I can connect with other Spider-Men throughout the multiverse. Maybe it's like, since we talked about the multiverse stuff, maybe the story is, is that Madam Web's abilities awoke when Doctor Strange's spell opened the doors to the multiverse um, to, let the other, to let the three Spider-Men meet. May, I don't know. I'm not, like, <sighs> Sony, you had really the best hit you ever had, and I knew, I fucking knew, the moment... You had that massive hit with No Way Home. I knew you were going to immediately think you were hot shit and run shit into the ground. That's why you, That's the real reason why you didn't want to compete Morbius against Scream 5. Because you knew he was... It, like, it wasn't COVID. You, if, don't give me that bullshit. Like, yeah... If that was true, you would have you would have held off on the view on the uh, release of uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home when the cases were so goddamn high. You just wanted to be a coward because you knew that movie wasn't gonna that you knew Morbius was not gonna hold a fucking candle to Scream Five. And I'm glad, like it's kind of weird that it's, it that I'm talking about this and Scream Six. But yeah, why? Same with Craven. Why? There's a ton of other female characters in Spider-Man's repertoire that makes way more... Hell, like, hell, Gene DeWolf. A movie about Gene DeWolf makes more sense. Because at least you could do, like, a cool cop mystery with the Sin Eater story. Like, a pseudo-adaptation of the Sin Eater story. That, and make it, like, a, like a superhero horror story. Um, or, like, a, a superhero crime drama. That'd be cool. Actually, no, I would be... Now that I think about it... Yeah, I'd be down for a Gene DeWolf movie. That'd actually be... And make it like a... Like, kind of like Seven, but with the Sin Eater. Holy shit, I'd act... Like, the more I think about it, I'm like, yeah! That would be cool! <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic, but yeah. I'm, uh, like... I, and I don't mean anything against Dakota Johnson. I really don't. She's a great actress. 
And if she, but I, this, the premise, the idea of this, and the director is the same guy who did Defenders and the second season of, of Jessica Jones. I'm shaking in my goddamn boots. Oh, Lord have mercy. Holy shit. I, I don't know. Like, wh who, who's in charge of anything at Sony? I mean, I get you just bought Bungie, but holy fuck, dude. Like, holy fuck. Anyway, so, let's move on. Let's, let's move on to the other big, uh, the big piece of news. Uh, and that is the announcement of Scream 6. Uh, which I have no, they haven't announced what the title is. It'll probably be like Scream... Scream Kills, or Scream ri Scream Real Loud, or they, maybe they'll take out the S and put an a, a, like put a six where the S is and call it Scream. That's what the that's what the kids are doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not the biggest Scream guy. I'm not the biggest fan of Scream. Not because I don't like. I just, like, I hate deconstruction films because, or deconstruction anything, because, like, the whole point of this is that, yeah, they're tearing down the real, uh, like, they're tearing down the fantasy of these films or these comics or these stories. I'm like, they don't want, like, the fan, like, they want to take out the fantasy element of it. I'm like, but that's the whole fucking point. I get away, I watch this shit or read this shit to get away from the, uh, from the reality. Get your reality out of my fantasy shit. So that, but this, but I've always had like a respect for Scream. So I've always had a, like a respect for it, and I really love the first movie. It was actually the first movie I saw this year, um, and it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, but Scream Six is going to be interesting because I have this sinking, this sickening suspicion that it's going to be like the Halloween Kills, or better put, the Last Jedi for this franchise. Because I have a sneaking suspicion this one's re like Halloween Kills is going to divide the fandom. That's that's what I feel like we're doing here. Is and look, I think if anyone can be weird and against the grain, it's Scream. I think definitely Scream can definitely do that. And I would love to see, like, I've been thinking about this for a while, is, like, how about, since we have a new character who, spoiler alert, is the daughter of Billy, Lo of, uh, Billy Loomis, um, how about we have a story where she becomes Ghostface and we follow it from her perspective, killing people, kind of like, just, she's going around killing people, but it's not like she's losing her mind, like she's finally, st it's more like people who deserved it, and this is the only way she can get justice. I think that would be a neat way to do it. Um, yeah, because I feel like you can only do so many times that, oh, who's the killer? Who's going to be the killer this time? How about, you t like, a perfect example of this, and I think this would be the best way to look at it and the best way to explain this, is that there's a movie I think you should all check out if you're a horror fan, The, Li the Rise of Leslie, Behind the Mask, or The Rise of Leslie Vernon, which is a mockumentary of a series, of a slasher, um, and it's a following a camera crew as he's becoming a slasher. And they actually reference Freddy Jason Michael, and his mentor is is like is like um, his root his char the character you guys would know him best is the old guy from Walking Dead. But the character is supposed to be Billy from Black Christmas. They also have Robert England in there playing like a um, like a Doctor Loomis role. They have, uh, I think, King Hotter shows up in a spot in a uh, like a cameo, and you have uh, the girl, the woman who was in Poltergeist. I can't remember her name, but it's the woman who was like, "This house is cleansed." Seriously, if you love horror movies, and it's not just, de it's not like it's deconstruction, but it's more like to, ex it's not deconstruction in the sense of like, fuck you for liking slashers. It's more like, we love slashers too, but here's some science behind slashers. So if you love horror movies, go check out um, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. It's behind the mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. It's also in the same universe as Hatchet. So there's some added bonus there. Anyway, I'm getting off topic, but the point being is that that's what I think you should do with the next movie, is have it set in the killer's perspective, and you see, like, take the inspiration from, like I said, Leslie Vernon, or Maniac, or um, 
Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, where it's all from the killer perspective. Like, it's all from the slasher's perspective, and you really go down this rabbit hole of madness. Whether you have um, the main character go mad, or you have something else happen. But the point being is, I think, like, we've played out five, five times. Like, we've played out the whole killer... Who's the killer five times? I think we've played that out. Let's have it that we already know who the killer is, but now we're going to follow their story and have them be like we're going to follow them as we're as they're killing everybody i think that's like the next logical step for scream i feel like that's the yeah i just feel like that's the next logical step also i think it, it like i always had this idea um for if they did a scream movie is that you know how they all have like the voice changer um i was thinking that maybe the guy who creates the vo who makes the voice changer is is Roger L. Jackson, who is the voice of Ghostface, and fun fact, the voice of Mojo Jojo from Powerpuff Girls, um, and he's the one who makes the machine, like, he's the one who's made the voice changers for every Ghostface, and he's also kind of like, um, he's kind of like their mentor, like a, like a twisted sick Obi-Wan or something like that. Anyway, so there you go, guys, um, just some just uh, like I said, it was two uh, videos. I was like, eh, there's not enough to really talk about here. So I'm so I decided to Reese's Pieces it and <laughs> basically mash them into one thing. So what do you guys think of the announcements for Madam Web and Scream Six? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, just comment below. Let me know. And if you haven't already, hit the link below to my Patreon. Um, just posted a new video there up last night. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that. Um, once again, can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this, but other than that, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.